What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP. And as promised, I'm back with another episode of the Pigskin Pro. It's a pretty good episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think you will enjoy it. It's not what I intended to give you guys today, but it's a long story. I'll talk about that a little later. I'm going to jump right into the commentary to show you on second and short. I was the first person in the backfield. I put a hat on the running back. It's going to go on the stat sheet as an assistant tackle, but we all know what really happened right there. So on third and two, they catch me looking for another run. They go to the air, and they convert. I couldn't get back in time to help. But you guys are going to notice two things in this video. One, you're going to notice that I make a lot of plays that just flat out don't go on the stat sheet like that. And you ask that quarterback, like, that's not a sack or a forced fumble or a pass deflection, but it's got an impact on the game. I run right by that tackle and just crush the hell out this QB and stare at him. Show your ass up, QB. So, on a second and nine, they run a sweep to the opposite side of the field. They convert, and now they're, they're marching a little bit here. I mean, they are really marching. Now, the second thing you're going to notice in this video is that defense is back to being a priority at the University of Miami. And quite frankly, I want to take a little bit of the credit. I mean, after realizing last year that my offense is just whack, I don't know what's going on with the recruiting on that side of the ball, but we're just not bringing in any talent. And the defense, you know, we're holding it down. We realize now we got to do it. And in this game, you're really going to see us step up and make some big plays. So second and goal here. They're in a very, very good field position. We pretty much know, worst case scenario, they get in three. We're trying to keep it from being seven, though. So I was in man coverage. I like being in man coverage in a passing game. On the run, I don't like it so much because my first responsibility is to make sure that my assignment is not on a route. And once I realize he's blocking, then I'm trying to find the ball carrier. So that little bit of delay, it kind of, I don't know, it hurts me a little bit. So on third and goal, the coach moved me to the free safety side. We're able to make the stop, and we hold him at three. It's a pretty good deal. Note, my offense still has zero. I don't know why this running back is running looking at the ground. If he would look up, he would know K, K Spade is coming. He could get the hell out of the way. But no, he's just running, looking at the ground. And as a result, he runs into me and a teammate. Cool. Unfortunately, they're still driving. Still moving the ball. So right here, a running play gets him across that yellow line. And I'm going to be honest. They was just moving the chains. Moving the chains. So. Let me talk about what this video was supposed to be, what it ended up being, and let you guys know a little something about that as I crack this running back. I am a really good run stopping safety. I mean, I think I'm a good coverage safety too, but we've all seen me get burnt. But on a running play, it's a 99% chance that when he runs by me, he's going down. But this video, initially I had two games queued up, ready to edit, to give you two games in one, with more of a highlight only feel. I hate I can't give you guys the first video. I had another one-handed interception that should have been a pick six, but I got ran down. 88 speed is the best I can do. But to make a long story short, I lost it. I had the video in my editing software, so I went on and deleted it from the hard drive, and then I was smart enough to empty the recycle bin. So when I came back to make some edits, the software needed to you know refer to the hard drive and of course the file was gone so i had to, i had to just delete the whole file so i made the decision to take the other game and instead of giving you guys just highlights or just my plays i wanted to give you more of a real football feel you know some commentary on plays show you how these teams was driving down the field so leave me some feedback you can say spade you know i don't know it was a little too long for me or spade it was good you know it was more in depth i like it better uh, you know, Spade, my sister said, what's up? She got big breasts. Whatever, man. Just give me some feedback. So I'm going to get back to the gameplay here. Still driving somewhat. And you see I'm swinging for the fences right there. They knock them down before I get there. That's cool with me. It's not a missed tackle. They just knocked them down before I got there. That means that my other 10 teammates out here are getting their job done like I'm getting mine done. And I'm always all right with that. So note, my offense still has zero points. So you see me running in at the end of that play. I'm still trying to put the hat on somebody. This entire game, I was trying to really put the hat on somebody. Third and short. I'm looking to make a play here. I'm looking to make a play. And you can see me. I'm jumping, trying to pick the ball off. It goes to the other side of the field. But we stop him. But my offense three and out. Note. Third quarter. Still zero points from the offense. 
Okay, second and 14. I got the first down marker behind me. I'm not letting anybody pass me. That's my mentality. I got man coverage, right? Soon as the players snap, they throw me in a deep zone. What the hell? How, how does my assignment change as soon as the quarterback says hike? Lucky for me, it didn't go to my zone. The play was stopped. And we're looking at a third and 14. I got that first down marker behind me. Don't let them behind me. That's what I'm telling myself. I got man coverage. Pass goes on the other side of the field. We get them stopped. That's another plant. Now my offense finally gets on the board, but only with a field goal. All right. Looking at a third down. We need to stop here. They got me in a very deep zone. I don't really understand why I was in such a deep zone on a short yarded situation. And I don't know if I hit a teammate or he hit me. I don't know. Somebody got the hell knocked out of him there. But they convert. They're still driving. Defense, we got to make a play. We've been making plays, but we got to continue to make plays. That's what we got to do out here. So on the first down, oh, but, but, bitch, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got to give me another word, man. I know that ain't a hot word, but I'm sorry. I cracked this guy in the three. Don't feel sorry for him. They sold him back together. He's going to take some Advil and be all right in a week or so. But as of right now, he is hurting. And it's crazy because I'm 6'4 in real life, so I made this guy 6'4. And, of course, also I made my guy 6'4 because I was planning on playing quarterback. But I realized after this game, I just look massive at the safety position being 6'4. So this game is retarded enough that you can shrink. So after this game, I went in and I changed my height to like 6'1 or 6'2. Still pretty, you know, I guess still tall for the safety. But at the same time, it's believable. Like a 6'4 safety, you'll never see that. I ain't never seen it. Not that I know of, anyway. So we come back. I look at the sideline. I tell the offense, thanks a lot, guys. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of the offense. So note, three points for the offense, seven points for the defense, just in case you're counting. So we still getting it done right here. And my spider sense tingles. I ain't even got to look back. Uh-uh. I know where it is. Watch this. This is a no-look deflection. It should be right about there. I ain't even looked back and I deflected. I'm telling y'all, man, I was all over the field making plays. Locked down safety. Now look at my coverage on this route. I take this running back. I, that's, I don't know what it is. Wide receiver, tight end, whatever the hell he is. I'm running stride for stride with him. The quarterback still completes the pass, but as a coach, when you rather the uh, quarterback complete like a 10-yard pass instead of a 20, 30-yard pass, and the receiver got rocked. But I get back to the huddle, and what does the game tell me? Wait for it. Bad zone coverage. What? what are you talking about that was excellent coverage you can't even ask for better coverage but at this point in the game i don't even care about the points like now that i'm starting i, I unlocked everything i can be i'm team captain i can call plays audibles flip plays whatever i don't care about the points like i don't even go to practice anymore i'm like ai i'm like practice not at practice i don't care that they took it from me but at the same time i'm like negative points for bad zone cut what are you talking about that was great but anyway, the offense does manage to get us three more points. Way to go offense, two field goals. In case you're, you're checking, that's six points for the offense, seven points for the defense. So it's late in the game, it's the fourth quarter, and I really want to get pressure on this quarterback. Even though they give me the power to call some plays, I only got three plays to choose from, and neither one of them is a blitzing play. So ah, I really want to blitz here. I get lucky enough. I see I got a running back. I'm going to make sure he doesn't have a route. And when I realize he don't, I'm trying to blitz. We don't get to the quarterback. He gets the pass off. And I told you guys, well, maybe I didn't. But we got two impact players in the secondary. Me and the cornerback on the left side of the field. So when you see the, uh, the coach move me to the free safety spot, you're putting an impact player in the secondary on both sides of the field. So, you know, he kind of bailed me out there. So on 4th and 17, they go for it. My defensive end or somebody gets back there for the safety. In case you're doing the check, that's 9 points defense, 6 points offense. Hey, I don't know. But a 15-3 to win, you see my teammates celebrating like they won a bowl game. But it truly is a big victory for the defense because you got to think about it. We gave up 3 points on the very first possession of the game. And we shut them down the rest of the game. I mean, we didn't give up anything else. And that's better than you can ask. You know, you can't even ask a defense to play better. Now, why are all these guys wearing raincoats and this chick taking it with a tank top? Come on, man. Like, who's soft? 
So number 51 comes and say, man, it was an honor to play against you. And I say, hey, I try to do what I can do when I can do it. I mean, you know, I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. So the defensive end that got the safety, I think that safety put him over. He ended up winning play of the game. I'm cool with that. I had to play of the game. Big win for my defense. Now, 51, the same guy that congratulated me, he goes back and he finds his QB and he say, you got your ass kicked today. But at least you got your ass kicked by a legend. And I like the way that guy thinks. He's going to be a great logistics guy one day. Like, he's got a great way of looking at it logically. Like, if you're going to take your ass whooping, take an ass whooping from a legend. So, of course, they keep showing the play of the game where I cracked this guy in three. No big deal. That was clearly the biggest play of the game because it's the only touchdown scored in the game. So, like I said, leave me some feedback on the length of this video. Let me know what's up. Is it a keeper? Should I trash it? I'm not going to trash it, but you get what I'm saying. But at any rate, that's all I got on this video, man. So I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.